it's like your daily your daily roles when you're at an event. Say you're doing the you're um, officiating the Horsham Pro Max here the other day. Okay. What is that? And so I'm actually the race director for Pro Max. Yep. So it's probably easier for me to talk about what I do as a as a race director for Pro Max. Yeah. So my weeks my week usually starts a month beforehand. Um, we're having meetings online with the clubs, mm-hmm. um, and COVID helps with that. Um, so we have meetings online with them. Uh, we have another meeting them with them about eight days out, just checking where they're up to with their track prep, where where they're up to with their volunteers, where they're up to with their catering, yep. because you know it's our responsibility to make sure the spectators are looked after. Okay. So they got people to clean the toilets. Yeah, have they got pe- have they got enough food? So you're overseeing that the clubs organise the, the entire way- the entire event. Gotcha. So basically everything to do with what's going on on track, I'm overseeing that. Mm-hmm. With the clerk, of course, takes a major role in that as well. But I'm also the connection from the track to the pits to the what the people eat, how the how the ticket box is going to work. Mm. And we've got a really good team in MA, the, the, the core team that come along, um, and they sort of handle a lot of that, the ticketing and stuff. But I'm more the – I'm the club guy, I suppose. Yeah, like, gotcha. I'm, I'm understanding what they're hearing and what they're thinking because sometimes it's a bit confronting and you're like, why do they want that? And, and then I can sort of – Coach them through that, and this is what we need. And yep. you know, to run a professional race meeting, this is the level you need to be at. And we can't be turning up here on Saturday morning like we do at a normal clubby and wing it. <laughs> yeah, you know, we don't wing it. Everything yep. is planned. Everything is is um, we take out all our risks. So I arrive. I arrive then at the track on Thursdays usually for a Sunday race meeting. Mm-hmm. So I roll in around lunchtime. On the Thursday, uh, this year the clerk will come comes in because I'm cross training those guys, mm-hmm. so they come in as well and we'll walk the track usually together at Horsham because it was my track and I I know my track. Um, I told him I told Mark that I'm not walking this track with you because he needs to see it for himself. Yeah. Okay, so and he came back with things that I would miss or I don't miss, whatever. So we walk the track and then we go and we have a meet, quick meeting with the club, just checking in with them, and then we'll go away and we build a works program which will have anywhere between forty and sixty items on it that still need to be done. Huh. All right. <laughs> And they need to be done. And that'll be down to just leaving things like, do you have a welder? Will it be at the start line? Is there yeah, power? Gotcha. Do you have do you have spare parts for the watering system? Yeah. It, even that's on the list. So there's things that are always on the list. There'll be others around saying, look, you know, we need you to widen the track here. We need you to mark the track there. We need you to, you know, build us some, we're using earthen buns, you know, now to protect and defend the track. Okay. Because we can't use tyres anymore, mm. we can't use hay bales anymore, because the insurance claims, the insurance, yeah. which yeah, you know, well, the insurance is a massive issue. It's going to be the thing that'll kill us. Mm-hmm. And if we don't get our act together as a sport, you know, we're not going. to The insurance will stop us. Yeah, yeah. There's because I can tell you now, we're, we've got a no fault policy that we operate under. That means even if I make a mess of it, I'm at least covered by the insurance. Okay, these things will stop, and there's no way I'm losing my house mm. over an event. So that's like the, that's how critical it is. That's the gross negligence clause that they put in. Was that this just this it, it is the gross negligence um, clause, which basically means if if an individual's done something wrong or they have ignored the processes, they're at fault, not the insurer. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Um, and it was a fault, and it was a, a bigger deal with other. Other competitors will call them at the time because you were always exposed. Mm. So the MA is the only one that wasn't. Yep. So um, so therefore it, it is a problem, but what it will do is it will stop the sport from the point of view that riders won't be able to get insurance. Yeah. So there will be no insurance. Well, that's what I'm saying. No insurance. As soon as you've got no insurance, you've got no sport. It it's a dangerous sport. sport. Yeah, cause- yeah, because the no insurance means that the landowner isn't insured. The landowner is usually owned by the councils. The councils aren't going to risk it, which means Correct. there's nowhere to ride, even if you want to have an event, 
a private landowner would have to host it and then they'd be liable or they'd have to find their own insurance. And they won't find it. And most probably wouldn't want to take it. And then I've tried, yeah, you can't really find it. So, yep. yeah, no one will. Well, I can only go off um, what I've been told coming out of MA, that basically even to have the word motorcycle mm. on a policy basically is a difficulty. I, and that even means insuring your building. Yeah, I called like maybe 14 different insurance companies. And, yeah, basically the, you don't even get a call back once you mention motorbike insurance. Yeah, there and you go. That's my property. Yeah, that's it. So, you know, I think it's our responsibility, like as officials, we've got to do the best we can. Um, and if you're doing the best you can, you're going to be fine. Yeah. You know, like common sense will prevail. So you do the best you can and and you and make sure the boxes are ticked and things that are prohibited don't happen. Mm-hmm. And that's really where we're at now.